If you regularly upload videos to YouTube with music that you have permission to use through some other license, like for example, if you create a video using your Adobe Spark account and you use the music that is licensed to you through Adobe Spark, uh, and you download the video from Adobe Spark and then you upload it into YouTube, you may get these really fun copyright claims filed against you from YouTube. So, as much as I love YouTube, these are really frustrating to me. And I just want to show you how to respond to one if you've uploaded a video and you're sure that you have the rights to use the content in it. So this is what the dispute claim looks like. Um, basically, you'll want to follow the link in the email, or if it happens when you upload the video, follow the, the breadcrumb trail and click on dispute claim. Okay, um, and then it's going to take you to this and it's going to say, what is your dispute based on? So it's going to ask you if you own a copy of the song or video. It's going to or give you the option, I'm not making money from my video or I gave credit to the copyright owner. This is what you want to click down here. You want to click on my dispute isn't based on any of the reasons above. I would still like to dispute this content item claim and then select continue and select the main reason you're disputing this claim you would select license I have permission or a license to use the content claimed in my video and of course be sure that that is accurate but in the example that I just shared like with Adobe Spark Music I have the license so I'm gonna select that and then just choose continue YouTube's going to remind you about the importance of understanding the license. All of this stuff is very important, so be sure that you do take a look at it. And then select, I have permission to use the content from the copyright owner, and select continue. And then here, I would simply describe, I created the video using my Adobe Spark account, and I am licensed to use and reshare the music. And then you have to select all of these boxes below and type your name down here and click submit. And then you'll see a message that your dispute has been submitted and after a little period of time you will receive an email saying that your claim has been closed.